hi guys so how to solve this question find the value of minus 8 plus minus 2 so here if you see both the signs are same if both the signs are same just we have to add them both 8 plus 2 the answer is 10 and we have to give the sign in minus so the direct answer is minus 10 now here they are saying like this find the price of 1 kilogram of sugar if the price of 200 gram of sugar is 26 rupees if 250 gram 250 gram is equals to 26 rupees means then uh, to find for 1 kilogram just we have to multiply this by 4 then we will get the value of 1000 then 1000 gram is equals to 26 also we should multiply by 4 so 6 4s are 24 2 remaining 4 2s are 8 plus 2 that's 104 rupees if your answer is correct you can give 2 marks ok so here in this question x to the power minus 3 they are asking us to convert this into positive integer so for that what we have to do is just we have to take the reciprocal of this 1 over x then this negative integer that will be positive integer x to the power 3 this one is very easy to solve so a plus 3 is equals 5 so plus 3 if we take that to the right side that will be minus 3 so 5 minus 3 so the answer is 2 so here they have given the value of root 225 root 225 is equals to 15 and here they have placed one decimal place here 2.25 then we have to find the value of this root 2.25 it's very easy for us to find just place the decimal in between this 1.5 twice just to verify we'll multiply and see 5 5s are 25 2 remaining 5 1s are 5 plus 2 7 and 1 5s are 5 and 1 1s are 1 if you add you will get this answer and how many decimals places are there there are two decimals so we'll place 1 2 2.25 is the answer so the answer here is 1.5 now the sixth question so how to find the value of this x so to find the value of this x we have to consider the straight line theorem here the sum of all three adjacent angles is equals to 180 x plus 90 plus 50 is equals 180 x 90 and 50 is equals 180 and 90 plus 50 is 140 so x plus 140 is equals 180 means now we'll take this 140 to the right side then there'll be minus 180 minus 140 so the answer is 40 so now how to write the 0.38 in percentage first of all we have to write this in fraction format 38 divided by 100 okay now to convert this into percentage we should multiply this by 100 percentage fine so now we can simplify this easily 100 100 cancel so 38 percentage evaluate so how to simplify this this is very easy 12.5 into 0 0.5 0, 06 just ignore the decimals and multiply 6 5s are that's 30 3 remaining and 6 2s are 12 plus 3 the answer is 15 and 1 remaining and 6 1s are 6 plus 1 7 now we'll calculate the decimals here there's only one decimal and here there are two decimal places so 2 plus 1 there are 3 in total 1 2 3 so the answer is 0 0.750 find the value of a squared plus a b if a is minus 3 here they have given some substitutions a squared and a b so the substitution of a is minus 3 so here we have to place that minus 3 and squared and again a is minus 3 and the value of b is 2 fine now we'll simplify minus squared should be in plus 3 squared that's 9 and plus into minus minus 3 2 is 6 so 9 minus 6 directly we can give the answer as 3 Okay, so here they are asking us to find the magnitudes of A as well as B. So how to find the magnitude of this A? So uh, I marked this angle also as A because it's an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, opposite angles of same sides are equal. So now we can take the sum of all three angles. The sum of all three angles is equals to 180. 70 plus A plus A is equals 180. Fine, so A plus A that's 2A. And now we'll take this 70 to the right side and there'll be minus. Because some of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. That's what I took there as 180. So 180 minus 70 is 110. Now to subject this A, we can divide them both by 2. So the value of A is equals 55. Okay, so now we have the value of this A that is 55 
so if we consider this triangle the right side triangle right now uh, this 55 is the exterior angle of the triangle so that exterior angle is equals to the sum of the interior opposite angles sum of the interior opposite angles so these are the interior opposite angles if this is b again we can mark this as b because of isosceles triangle okay fine so the sum of these two is equals to 55 means b plus b is equals 55 so now we'll add them both b plus b 2b it's equals 55 so now we have to divide them both by 2 so the value of b is 55 divided by 2 is 70 27.5 This is one of interesting question they are asking us to find the value by using factors so is there any common factors yes 5 over 7 is common so i am writing that here 5 over 7 so in this side 11 square is remaining and in right side 4 square is remaining so here you can see difference of two squares difference of two squares means we can factorize that further like this one in minus and the other one in plus 5 over 7 now 11 minus 4 the answer of 11 minus 4 is 7 and here 11 plus 4 is 50 now we can cancel 7 to 7 so 15 into 5 the answer is 75 if the area of the given trapezium is 175 that means they have given the area as 175 so the formula is half into a plus b a plus b means the sum of the parallel lines so 15 plus 20 only we have to take and the perpendicular height and division 2 if we take that there will be multiplication 2 and a plus b a is 15 and b is 20 so if we add them both we will get 35 already we have taken this division 2 and into h now can simplify this easy 175 into 2 2 fives are 10 one remaining two sevens of 14 plus 1 15 one remaining two ones are 2 plus 1 3 and multiplication 35 i am taking that to the right side and there will be division 35 so 350 divided by 35 is 10 so it's 10 centimeters and this one is very easy they are asking us to find the discount percentage so the discount is 1200 and now we'll divide this by 15000 Okay, and to find out the percentage of this, we'll multiply this by 100 out of 100. Double zeros to double zero cancel. And can cancel one more zero. 120 into 10 is 120. And 120 we can directly divide by 15. So the answer is 8 percentage. So the discount percentage is 8. Again, it's one. This is very easy. Just find the value of A over C. So A over B is there as well as B over C. They have given the substitution of A over B as well as B over C. Now how to obtain A over C by using these two terms. So now if you see if you multiply we can cancel this B to B. So what are remaining A over C. So again now here is now A over B. The substitution of A over B is 7 over 5. And into B over C is how much? 3 over 2. And all it's equals to a over c now we can simplify this 7 3s are 21 over 5 2s are 10 so a over c is equals to 21 over 10 so moving to the last question of the day how many right angles in the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon how many right angles are there right angle means 90 degrees so how many 90 degrees are there the sum of the exterior angles is equals to 360 so 360 should divide by 90 we will get 4 right angles are there and in Roman number 2 if the interior angle of a regular polygon is 162 find the number of sides so now we can find the exterior angle to find the exterior angle we should subtract this 162 by 180 so the answer is 18 so the magnitude of the exterior angle is just 18 now we can find the number of sides so to find the number of sides we should divide by 360 so 360 divided by 18, the answer is 20. So there are 20 sites.